Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm reviewing the Steel BGA57 cordless leaf blower. I've had this blower now since July this year. It's now coming to the end of the autumn here in the UK. Over that period of time I have used this an absolute ton. Not so much during this autumn period and I'll come to why I haven't used it so much during this period a little bit later on in the video and it is my main blower that I use for my gardening business. So this replaced the 56, which I previously had. It was a good blower, and this is, a, in my opinion, a worthy successor to it. It's a modest upgrade from the 56, but there are some noticeable differences and noticeable improvements that have made it an overall a more capable and better tool. Talking of that, let's run through the headline stats of this blower. The CFM is now 365, opposed to the 56, which was 353, so a small difference increase in that. It has an increased miles per hour speed as well from 100 to 125. You've got a blowing force of nine Newton meters squared, max air speed of 55 meters a second, and max airflow of 620 with vibration figures of 0.6, so very low as well. This is in still 36 volt AK series, so the, their domestic battery series, but it is also, as I say, useful for professionals. One of the reasons I do like it is it's so light and it only weighs 2.3 kilos without the battery. So it's a really light tool and that's always an advantage in my opinion. In terms of runtime, you have between about 10 minutes on the AK-10 battery, which I really wouldn't recommend, going up to the AK-30 about 30 minutes, which is the one I'd recommend. The AK-20 is okay, but if you can get the AK-30, you're going to get that extra runtime, which is all important with blowers like this. As I say, 30 minutes is not a huge amount, but you'd be amazed how much blowing you can get done in that sort of period of time. It's also very reasonably priced, only £109 for the tool itself. And I think it's about £150, £200 with a battery and a charger. So still pretty reasonable. It seems pretty good value for money, in my opinion. There are a number of cosmetic changes, as well as some functional changes that still have made to the blower. The first thing is the styling. It really just brings it more in line with other blowers that they offer with the sort of more projection of the back where they cut away the fan area here and just made it a bit more angular like the other steel blowers. I think it looks great. They've also kept this battery slot section here, which is a two stage battery slot, which I really like um, so that you can keep the battery with the tool so that the tool's ready to go. Even if the battery's in, if it's in that first stage, the machine won't work but it's just storing it, it's not gonna discharge. And then you just have to pop it in that final bit and then you're away to go. And I think that's a great feature. I think it's really useful for the domestic market where you wanna keep the battery with the tool, but it's also useful for us professionals as well. So I like the fact that they've kept that. The other change is the handle. So this is updated. It's now a two stage or three stage safety trigger um, with this added bit here. I would have preferred to have seen it as a variable speed trigger which this is not, it's a single speed, but you can fluctuate it by sort of manipulating the trigger. It's okay, it's perfectly fine. You get used to the safety, the added trigger area because it's single speed. You only have to engage it once and then it's just really on the trigger. It, it does the job. And you've got the adjustment here to lengthen it and shorten it for storage and more efficient use. And they've also increased the size of the bottom here as well, which was, something that annoyed me with the other one where it kept on falling over but they've fixed that by increasing the width here so that's that's nice that they've done that now i said i hadn't used this a whole lot during the autumn and it's really just down to the fact that this is a domestic low powered leaf blower and it's not ideally suited to actually blowing leaves so if you've got any sort of amount of leaf to blow or any large expanse of leaf to blow this isn't ideally suited. I tend to get my big backpack blower and I know I'm doing it professionally, so I need something like that, but it will do it, but it's frustrating, it's slow, it's not as powerful or as effective as you want it to be. And you know, you'll get the impression that it's a rubbish tool, which it's not. It's all about using it for the things that it's capable of doing and really blowing heavy leaves, wet leaves, for large expanses of time, it's not greatly suited to. It'll burn through the batteries in no time and just be a bit frustrated by it. So stick to doing fairly light tasks. I use this, as I say, professionally, just tidying up where I've been mowing and strimming at jobs, at small jobs and things like that. Works perfectly. Um, blowing out the van, tidying up the garage, blowing off leaves of patio. 
even just doing a bit of light leaf blown as well it's all absolutely fine for that as i say perfect for a, a domestic setting to do all of those tasks if you do want some more power then you know maybe the ap series blowers are a better option a bit more comparable to a petrol blower in terms of their performance but for me for a lightweight blower that you just want to tidy up after yourself then you really can't go much better than this it's it's really useful and as i say it's very cheap as well so you know it's uh it's not an expensive purchase and in terms of like needing extra batteries and things like that as a rule of thumb if you're a homeowner you'll probably be fine with one but a backup battery is always a good idea and you know if you can get the 30s then obviously you've got that little bit more peace of mind and a bit more runtime but get a backup battery if you need it just see what happens see how much you need the battery usage you might be surprised that you don't actually need as many batteries as you thought you might do so that's what i've done and it's worked out perfectly for me and i'm always amazed at how much battery life i can get out of one of these and don't forget you can always use a rake and a bag if you're collecting up leaves in the first place you don't always need a hundred pound blower to collect some leaves if you've got any questions about the blower don't forget to drop them in the comment section and i'll get back to you and that just leaves me to say thanks again fortune bye for now